I was talking with Coach uh, in the break, and it's, it, it is a fact. When, when you guys are in season, if you're not sleeping, you're working. That's how it goes. Yeah, well, There's we love no what, we love what we do too now. Sure, so, you know yeah. those long days uh, they they go by pretty quick. Your football uh, teams have been known for defense, and a couple of months ago you quoted your defensive coordinator Tony Gibson as saying, "Your team could have the best defense in the country this season." Do, do you still believe that? I've, well, you just said something that's never been said to me before. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we are, you know our defense is. Yeah. Uh, has obviously gotten better, but we weren't known for our defense when we first came into the league three yeah. years ago. Okay, we, you know, have had you know very good offenses, and and everybody in the Big 12 has had great offenses. The only way you win uh, a championship in this league, and if you look at the teams that have the last couple of years, are, are teams that play good defense. You so, you know, we're at a point now, fourth year in our in the Big 12, where you know we got 14, 15 guys on defense that have been there the whole time. You know, and so they understand what the Big 12 is uh, about, and. You know, Tony Gibson's done a great job for us as a defense coordinator. We got the whole defensive uh, staff coming back, and yeah. I think we're in a good, pretty good place. You know, taking a look at the other side of the ball, uh, offensively, there's a lot of excitement around Shelton Gibson. You actually said yeah. he's the fastest player you've ever coached. Faster than Tavon Austin? Faster <laughs> than Stedman Bailey? Well, he's got a chance. He's got to put it on that field first, you know. Sure. I mean, you know, last year we had a couple of guys in, in, in Kevin White and Mario Wofford, and th those guys both ran in the four threes. At the at the NFL Combine, uh, you know, but uh, ha having having Shelton there, and you know, we got three or four other guys, you know, that are going to be able to come in to replace those guys. I don't know which one's going to step up and be the go-to guy, but I'm quite certain somebody will. I know the way you guys work. There's always one part of your team that will keep you up at night, and, and that's the part that, unfortunately for you guys, or perhaps fortunately because you work more on it, that you just can't stop thinking about. What is that? What is the part of West Virginia football this year? that has you most concerned coming into the season? Well, you know, last year, we, we, we made a lot of strides last year, you know, and, and, you know, won five games in the league, you know, so we, we, you know, improvement from the year before that, but we're 120th in turnover margin. Yeah. So the, the only way you win a, a championship is, is you, if you win the turnover margin and, you know, defensively, we got to get some turnovers and then offensively uh, in, in the return game as well, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. How do you do that? How do you stress to your team? Because everybody knows taking care of the football yep. is important. You can't say that enough, and players probably hear it, and it becomes white noise. But what do you do throughout the course of the season to really work on, A, taking it away when you're on, de on defense, and just protecting it when you have it? You know, I think it's just a mindset more than anything. I mean, everybody does the ball security drills and the sure. turnover circuit. Everybody does that. We do, we do it probably as much as anybody in the country. But... Uh, I think it's a mindset more than anything. Mm -hmm. You got to have experienced players that are confident and, and and understand how to get that thing done. So I think defensively, we're going to get a lot of turnovers based on the fact that our team is confident, our defensive team is confident. Yeah, well, you've got Carl Joseph back, right? The DB. How crucial yeah. is he to the success on defense? He, he's uh, he makes this team go. You know, he's he's one of about 14 guys on defense that have been with us for the last three years in the Big 12. So uh, one of the fiercest hitters in in college football. Uh, that's how you get turnovers. You know, yeah. you, you affect the football yeah. and you affect the guy that's got the football. You know, and it, you know. So whenever uh, we have an opportunity to affect that ball, we got to do that. Who else do we need to know about on defense this year? Who else is going to lead the way for you guys? Well, Nick Kwiatkowski led us in tackles last year. Uh, he's a tremendous football player. Uh, you know, Jared Barber's coming back at linebacker. He's going you know, into his, his uh, fifth year. He's going to be a four-year starter. KJ Dillon is another senior. Kyle Rose is a senior. Uh, that experience know, helps, doesn't well, it? Well, um, yeah, 14, 15 guys that, that have been playing for us for three years, that makes a difference. Yeah.